Hey folks, Quill18 here to welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 6. We are... Ooh, fun garden. Oh, okay. Um, we are playing as Canada with a preview edition of Gathering Storm. And we uh, have very little army because it turns out you don't need a lot when you're Canada and no one can surprise war you or anything like that, which is just lovely. I'm going to have some coffee over here. Love it. Excellent. Uh, Calorie is still going quite slowly over here, but we'll get there. You're going to offer me some diplomatic points. You want some niter. You're going to need a little bit of gold and some diplomatic power for later. I'm going to take it. It's going to be okay. And you have finished a monument. Good. Um, and yet we're going to, we're just going to get another builder here. We are going to switch away from Ilkum relatively soon, but not quite yet. Uh, you need a farm on that, which we will do. We will mine you over here. And then next turn, we should be able to get the fish. Um, there we go. Majority religion will be Tactics lightness over here. What you can. We've converted a city over. And now the pressure, we do have the double pressure. Well, it's actually 25% more pressure. Uh, but it's going to come out of here and try to convert more of China for us, which is going to be grand. I guess, okay, there's no reason to boost this at this point. It's not a big deal. I'll just go ahead and pick up Celestial Navigation. I mean, technically, we'd, we'd still get a little more overflow, but it's going to be okay. Is a tool and, yeah, education so we can unlock universities would be great. Before we spend our money on something silly, I will go ahead and pop this. This is going to make a big difference for Calgary. Uh, Huey doesn't... Kill, oh, your production's way too low over here. Um, we need to start working on some of these districts, but we clearly need to improve a ton more tiles. We're still going to switch away from Ilkum soon, but we are going to queue up more builders, and that's going to be okay. I'd like to send you down here. A little worried that you're going to die along the way, but eh, what could possibly go wrong? You'll get attacked by the skirmisher, but Atus is probably going to take a bite out of you too, so it's going to be okay. Builders going on most everywhere, which is great. Uh, we're going to squeeze one more in in Ottawa here because we're not done with the Ilkum quite yet. There's the Petra building, but not a really great site for it. <laughs> I know everyone wants me to build the Petra, but it's going to have to um, keep waiting for now. That being said, I might like to... What's your time on a builder? 11 turns. All right, Hamilton, you're going to start building something. Um, it could just be a camp. But these rainforests are probably all going to go away. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a theater square right over here. Start to accumulate a little culture that way. That would be nice. And you're going to come here and improve that. You're going to go and improve this. And... Yeah, I guess Ottawa will go and do this stuff over here. That's going to be okay. Although we're still supposed to be sending some builders there. Well, there's one anyway. So that's good. You're going to improve the fish. Excellent. Wonderful. Yeah, we need to get our science rate up. No chance of getting a great person, huh? I mean, we're spending our faith on other things. And speaking of, I should probably... The guru is healing of... Yeah. Put out some more missionaries here and make sure to spread the love. All right, library, go. It's overdue. Um, campus. Oh, we need to chop that. How's your production time on a builder? Okay, go ahead and do the builder. That's going to have to be okay. Um, we're going to move this rainforest. You're going to clear this marsh. Given Montreal and extra production, which is grand. You're going to stand right here. We'll promote you at some point when we've got some money. And, yeah, you can come and lumber mill all this by Toronto. You want some of my diplomatic power and one of my olives in exchange for two luxury resources and some money. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I do want the diplo power for some things, but... There you go. They are fighting over here, which is good. Skirmisher is an upgrade to the scout, actually. Uh, Jebel is still good. All your cities within six tiles. It's really good, but... You you need builders over here. I think we'll just watermill you, though. We'll try to send a builder down there, but... Chop this. And we are looking for converting slowly. Um, we'll Quebec, convert Quebec, because low population cities are easy to convert, and that will spread more religious pressure. Lumber mill here. These, are these flat? No, it's a hill. See, in a hill, I like to chop to give that boost, and then we build a mine, which is going to be fine. So having cleared the swamp here, 
Um, actually, I'm going to focus on some chops. Especially since we're going to chop into a builder. Because we've got Magnus right now. New districts built. Like, like, this player acts like a culture bomb. Excellent. I want... I'm going to spend all my votes on that. Oh, I guess each vote takes more and more diplomatic favor. So, next one would be 30. Okay, we'll spend some points on it. Uh, trade routes sent to me become better, and we'll spend a little bit on that as well. We have to do it blind. Yes, yes! Oh, I got them both! So my new districts act as culture bombs until the next election. That is really nice and might be something we want to take advantage of immediately. I can't buy a tile for a better... Okay. Um... I might still like to mine this. Let's see here. Maybe, okay. I'll kill a turn in Toronto. Let's just uh, start... We'll start on a granary, which we'll need. I guess we might finish it, too. That's okay. Um... Yeah, you can build a mine there. That's fine. We'll go ahead and take some more olives for trade. We're going to go ahead and... Is this... This is a hill, so we're going to chop that, especially with Magnus here. There we go. I'm actually going to queue up another builder here, because... Ooh, there's a trader available as well. But I will queue up a builder, because likely we'll use tons of chargers over here, and we'll be happy to have it. You want... Uh, the olives and more Diplo power in exchange for just a little money. You know what? Sure. I actually could use a little bit of cash for some things. And in three turns... You know what? We'll get one more builder here. Because we'll sneak it in with the Ilkum and that's going to be okay. Uh, here I'm going to start building a trader. That's going to be fine. And Quebec City needs some help. So we're going to move straight down there. And is this flat land? It is flat, so I'm just going to lumber mill that. Do I want to switch out of education? We are not going to be doing a great scientist anytime soon. So no, I'll just finish education so we can build our universities. Mind this. You're going to remove that. Excellent. I suppose we could have saved the trees by Toronto until we got Magnus down there, but it's going to be okay. Um, you're going to keep moving down here. As much as you can. I guess you're being blocked by some units over here, but things will change. Venetians have changed the monarchy, which we're working on with Divine Right. Okay, Montreal. Let's see here. Campuses... You can get a five-campus site here? Being adjacent to geothermal fissures? Let's buy this. We're going to want to chop this first, though. Um, start on a granary, so you're actually at your population cap as well. So, yeah. It Spread is the mark of an educator. Get our religion established. We'll start working on castles, because very quickly, we're, very soon, we're going to change to a, um, a government with those slots. Building a mine here is fine. Um, you've got the religion already. How about foreign trade routes to anywhere interesting for lots of money or something? Not so much. I think I'll just run it to Ottawa for the food. You can get a little science. A little food. Now, this is going to be okay. This is... It looks like flat to me. It is, so we're just going to lumber mill that. Um, that got plundered. Oh, probably by the damn boats. Ugh. over here. Medieval era in five turns. How are we looking? Well, we'll have a new normal era, but not a um, not a golden age. Alright, you don't need an archer here anymore, because you do have some bombard. I'm going to move the archer to here instead, and guard that cocoa plantation. Um, and we're going to want to... Uh, no, sorry, not a campus. We may want a campus there, actually, but we're going to want to harbor here ASAP. It's going to be a really good spot. Plus four gold, because it's adjacent to the city and two sea resources, and it's going to be very, very nice later on. Uh, you're going to go ahead and just fortify here until healed. 
that's converted, we're going to go ahead and do some work on Molendaro. It's not going to be a majority religion, but we'll still try to politely spread that. Um, speaking of, we can... We do have some more faith. We might just want to faith by the Watt, actually, which I think is what's going to happen. Let's move over there. Uh, and we're just going to be camping there. This is flat? Yeah. We'll just lumber mill you. So we're going to get monarchy next turn. Prepare the coffee. You have some niter. I nice. conclude then this point touching upon the power of kings with this axiom of divinity. Most say Michel. That yeah, that could actually be really handy for us. Um, all right, so we take monarchy. It's got a lot of military policies, which isn't necessarily what we're anxious about, but I guess it's going to have to be okay. We are going to pick... Do we have the thing to build encampment sites? No, we don't. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, we, we're probably going to want to build some walls, so we'll grab limes for now. It's going to be okay. Um... Conscription, save some money. I don't know if we need discipline. What are we going to do for that instead? We might just run retainers. I'm going to get rid of Ilkum. We're going to go to um, Natural Philosophy. This is going to be okay, and I still like the Science Inspiration. Please and thank you. There we go. That boosts castles for us. And we're not going to kill anything with the Dream, so we're going to start working on that. Um... I am going to not purchase this tile because I cannot, so we're not going to start our encampment right away, unfortunately. But I guess I'll work on the university, and that's going to have to do. And majority religion over here. It is decreasing, though, which is interesting. Need a little, little more uh, population or something in some of these places. Uh, these floodplains will work on that for food. We've got four points to a golden age. If you hmm. see a castle under fog. Building our first boat. I don't think we'll get that in time. Search for religion, which is helpful. Uh, maybe do some more half research or something. We don't have walls yet. Putting up our first ancient walls will actually help. And we do have limes right now to give us some of the discounts to that, which is good. Come over here. We could get... Oh, no, we got to clear this to build an awesome university. Now I remember. Boost to feudalism. Let's actually do that. Because if we finish feudalism, we get another boost to attack. Converting cities gives us score. That's right. But we're not really going to be in a position to do that. It's going to be a little late here. Uh, I really just want to buy the block. And then we'll build the university. Uh, we'll need another settler up here. Begin voting, special session. Oh, that's just for the emergency. Hmm? City-state emergency got started. Temple of Arnos never got built. We do have a camp here. Um, right, you have to camp us up. So if I go and chop you. All the overflow should go into our campus production, I think. So I haven't screwed this up. Maybe you just wasted it. I don't know. At least we still got the food, I guess. Look up some tea for more amenities. We'll definitely want a lumber mill here. Alright, we're getting there. Another normal age. Dedication... Time you convert a city. Specialty districts. I don't know. We'll keep trying to see if we can do some conversion. We do know it need a lot more faith production, though. So, um, Oh! We can build a new building here. Spies. That's usually what I'm going to want, because I'm not leveraging stuff. Buy land units with faith. Generates faith. Hmm. I think our faith is going to be spelled elsewhere. We'll go intelligence agencies, because spies are awesome. Okay, go ahead and farm some more stuff. Oh, it's pretty slow here. Range city attack. Oh, a little skirmisher coming by. So nice that we have an alert for that now, isn't it? Yeah. A delegation to welcome. I still wish that default built-in civ had a filter for, or a lens rather, for builders. 
It's Speaking of builders, we've unlocked Serfdom now. It's gonna be nice for our next round of massive builders, but I think we'll wait. We'll keep working on naval tradition because we're unlikely to kill anything with a dream. So we'll just have to finish it, and that's gonna be okay. We'll switch out of printing. We'll grab stirrups for now because we do have the boost for it anyway. And yeah, you're going to... We, we're going to wait until we get a professional army, I think, before we upgrade some stuff. You would like tea for some money and a little bit of diplomatic power. It sounds good to me. Um, you would like my iron... Yeah, we're capped on iron. Not really building much of it, so that's okay. We have enough to buy a tile now. Which will be this for... Um, I'm going to buy it now. And that's going to be okay. We'll be happy to have it. Suzerain, Suzerain, and there we go. We're going to go and cap out Moendara over here. Train a Courser. Construct a Holy Site. Trigger Eureka for shipbuilding. We'll do that. We'll get a new a new Suzerain ship so we get even more influence. I'm going to move down here. Mine. Let's farm. Let's range attack. Did you build another city over here? Maybe enough time had gone by. Yeah, I'm going to have to spam out a bunch of settlers again. Just to finish land. Okay, maybe not from Quebec City. They're a little slow and you need some basic improvements, I think. Um, you're actually going to have a pretty decent spot right here. For an industrial zone. Into the hills and the quarries, so get started on that. Shoot him. Betwixt the stirrup and a good navy is not a provocation to war. Our emergency bonus guarantee. will do some good stuff for us later. Uh, is there anything we want to change? Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to switch to colonization. I am going to want to spam out some settlers real fast. Let's go straight to shipbuilding here and see what that gives us. We're far away from my normal build orders here. It's kind of annoying. Um, let's work on keeping Fez. Plus, we are getting close to building universities. Is this a hill? It looks like it might be a hill. It is a hill, so we're just going to go and chop that. I'm going to pull back over here. To not die. We might have to spend money to upgrade you, even though we don't have a professional army. Wow, uh, wow, this is super duper unpleasant in a place with no walls. I know it's not going to build them that fast. Five turns isn't bad, though. We might be able to get something going. Build a pasture. Mine you. Is this site here? I don't know. Okay, they're moving away. That's good. Montreal, you're going to go into a library. Or, hold on. You're going to go into a settler. And another settler. Everything turns pretty long, but I think it's okay. You can't upgrade, but we'll wait. Making 50 gold per turn now, huh? Oh, I cannot I lost imagine any. At least we know what's going on over there. Um. I think we're just going to direct research gunpowder, and then we're going to slowly start building um, musketeers, since we do have some niter that's coming in at a trickle ball. We're actually capped on it, so. Oh, I think we just lost suzerainship, because the green arrow just went away. Waiting over here. <laughs> want to fill the land. Oh! There we go. Got a boost of printing. Actually, finishing printing would give us a lot more religious pressure, so that would be great. We're going to build another settler over here, and one over here. Um, You can keep working intelligence agency. Now that your walls are done, I feel a lot better. And we're going to want to build more walls. Late in the game, they do give you tourism. Like, I'm not worried about being attacked very much. You want a bunch of iron, you'll give me some money and some diplomatic power. That sounds great to me. Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession. 
It's a industrial zone adjacency, commercial hub adjacency. No, we'll keep the settler bonus for now. Any chance we can... Oh, it could faith buy Isaac Newton. Instantly builds a university and a library in this district. That sounds great. We're definitely going to want that. Um, we'll work on Reformed Church. We can run Theocracy. We got discounts to it and everything. Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Making tons of money from our trade deals. We'll save it for now. You're going to sit on alert. Okay, now, we already have a library here, so we're going to lose part of Isaac Newton's um, bonus, which is to build a free library. But that's okay. This is still going to build us a free university. Right, we don't have a university here, right? Oh, we actually never even built the the library. Never mind. So we get both the free library, the free new university, and all our universities provide extra science. So now all of a sudden we're at 95 science, which is going to help a lot to bring us up here. 59, 108, some unknowns. 7.4. Uh, Incas, I guess, pretty much dead. Okay, so yes, our science rate is now very much on par with the AI, and we'll probably just get a little bit better here. He's a military animal. Gunpowder tech, I'm going to be happy to have. If we can build the potato palace over here, that would be lovely. Everything that gives you an extra sloth is a wonderful, wonderful wonder. Not to be redundant, but... Um... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start building a builder, and we're going to purchase this knight over here. Let's get a little bit more expansion. In terms of settlement, I think I'm going to forward settle right over here. We're going to be fine with, um, with loyalty. It's not going to be an issue. Your production rates are still really bad. I think we're just going to want to start building some things in a little triangle over here. Get some more holy sites. Yeah, I mean, there's no adjacency bonus, and that always just hurts me to my core. But I think we're going to have to do that. Oh, get some niter over here. We can get lots of niter going on. Oh, Dido was ravaged by a natural disaster. Should we aid them recover? Um, so, I'm going to vote yes with my free vote. I won't put any more than that, but this will start a project on a timer and we can get rewards for that. People who have played Civ V, this will feel very familiar to, to you. There you go. So we can send give some money to the target, or we can click the Send Aid Project. And the person with the highest score gets a diplomatic victory point, and then you can get just diplomatic favor from having done some amount of effort along the way. I do have a lot of cash. Stop settling near my cities. Again. Hmm. And I guess I could just, like... Hmm. Let's give you 100 gold. Hmm. What does that do? Nothing now. Maybe it'll add up. Or maybe I did it the wrong way. That's possible. But hey, she'll like me a little bit more, so that's okay too. We'll just check the next turn to see if the numbers have changed. Got an envoy, which we are going to send to Hattusa. Try to keep that locked down for us. It's very nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 100 points, 100 gold. I guess I could have just waited and maybe tried to snipe it last minute, but... Heck, the AI might be smart enough to do that, too. And this maybe just, like, dissuade the AI from doing crazy stuff. We got, uh... Charles Darwin. Oh, he's probably going to this natural wonder. I can't do anything to stop him. I mean, I could have slowed him down, I suppose. That would have been about it. Alright, this is looking okay. We've got a farm going on here, so you're growing a little faster. Your production still sucks, but you're growing very quickly. I mean, we can change your priority list. We okay, have to mine some stuff. Renaissance era of culture with astronomy. The, the three great elements of modern civilization. Gunpowder, printing, and the Protestant religion. So I'm tempted to switch over to theocracy here. It's a little bit more balanced. We get discounts on faith purchases. Yeah, and I mean, we are running a religion, so... We'll keep limes. Um, we're going to remove retainers and put in... Um, conscription. We still don't have the better speed of creating encampments, and that's okay. Colonization, we are still doing that. I think that's still fairly relevant. I'm going to want to keep going with natural philosophy, because it's quite a lot of science for us. Charismatic leader is still fine, I think. And I still like great, great scientist points. We got a boost towards the colonial, colonialism civic. 
We've got two universities, so we'll finish printing. If we can finish, I think that's the Forbidden uh, Palace, which is a really, really strong wonder. Oh yeah, we might be able to get an alliance. Hold on. Friendship. Let's get some um, religious alliances. Let's hold on. Um, no religious pressure back and forth. That's not necessarily what I want. Let's get a cultural alliance. And you like me as well. Can we declare friendship? <laughs> Excellent. And um, a research alliance. So we'll want to send at least one trade route to each one because it can help level up the alliance. That's going to be something. Of course, we need more trade routes as well. Come down here, build another farm. Although maybe I should focus on building freaking mines for Winnipeg. What gunpowder did for war? Yeah, I really the want the Forbidden City. Potato Palace is good. Okay, we'll build Potato Palace. Um, yeah, there's limited spots for it. Oh, that's not bad because it hasn't been improved yet. We're gonna start on that. Um, all right, Chichen Itza is if you keep rainforest around, which I don't tend to do. Uh, religious tourism? Sure. I don't know if this is a sweet spot for it, but we're just going to go for the tourism building. Let's build a settler here. Be content with the lowlands. Okay. Ah, oh, because I'm near Mount Kilimanjaro. Plus three era score. Very nice. We're, we're outside of the, uh, the splash zone, um, which is good anyway. We're going to get a monument, and we are going to... Pink's sort of half-wasted. Uh, we'll get aquaculture. Oh, we have more titles sitting around. I am going to get Ping. I'm going to put you in Ottawa for the tech right now. We don't get the culture part of it, but it's still going to be okay. Um, Brantford, well, I guess we'll hook up the Jade first. We do get the free builder because of our building that we've got going on in our governor's place, which is good. Uh, you'll set up there. You, I could, actually, this is not bad here. We could even risk settling right here. The second one to rise, if we settle here, we get a really strong harbor. I mean, we'd still get a decent harbor even if I'm not right in the death zone. Maybe I'll go not right in the death zone. Wars. Uh oh, wait, what? I'm at war. I'm at war with you. Yeah, I have grievances against them. I can purchase Apostle, which we may or may not do. Um, there's a funky thing. Apostles get more expensive with each one you build, and missionaries get more expensive with age, right? So I want to spam missionaries early on. Which I need to keep doing aggressively. Unless I want to spend the faith on something else. Uh, we're going to build farms next to Mount Kilimanjaro here. Wonders, kills, met new civilization. So, all the city-states are going. Uh-huh. So I declared war on Amenitar because Amenitar declared war on Dido. And China also, but I guess I don't go to the war with China. Why am I unfriendly with you? You know, what's our deal, man? Unknown reasons. Favorable trade deals. I'm going to send you a delegation. No. I could denounce you. Okay. So, the person I'm at war with, I don't know where you are. Right? I'm right. This is China. This is Carthage or Phoenicia. Okay, so hopefully we're all right. Sweden has denounced evil deeds. That's interesting. Um, more yield from city-states. Honestly, I have some good scientific city-states. I might not want to spend my points on it. Religious combat strength. All players may condemn units of the chosen religion and get diplomatic power. I'm going to vote for this and make sure to vote for not myself. I think pro or Judaism is nearby, right? I saw some presence of that, so we'll put a little extra muscle in that. And 
see how that goes. Sort of doing this defensively. Islam, okay. As long, oh, oh! Islam units have more religious combat strength. I don't think that'll affect me. But there we go. We got double yield when sending trade routes to scientific city-states, which I have some near me. I don't have two crossbows. Oh, I don't have professional army. I do have a lot of money, though. Tell you what, let's go ahead and promote you. We are at war, so let's go ahead and do it. And you over here, that's two crossbows, which will give me the boost to metal casting. So that is nice. Toronto has finished that settler. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a moment here. Um, we have the alliance. I guess I could switch. I don't have... That's not what I want to do. I want to come over here. I don't have anything to let me boost my building of units. Let's build the walls. We do have the discount to that. They'll be worth tourism later on, which is nice. Adaptive people of Canada build after a natural disaster, taking advantage of the renewed land. It's extra fertile, is the idea. Um, you're going to convert away. Yeah, there's a lot of Judaism over here. We're going to make sure to spread the love of politeness as much as possible. And you are definitely coming up over here. I think I'm going to settle on the coast for a decent harbor. Got the salt over there, which is going to be handy. And it's too far away. You're not going to really expand to it. Hey, we got a harbor for some more era score. Good. Straight into building a boat. Colossus. Would build... Oh, you can build it there. Let me do this. I'm going to flip some tiles to you. There we go. Uh, you're still pretty crappy. You need trade routes to come out of you is what you need. I'm still going to go and give you those tiles because you're tile poor and other cities will have other options. Let's hook that up, get a boost towards rifling. And yeah, we're already maxed out on our, um, on our niter. We still have to consider doing something with that. A little more food for Brantford. Yeah, look at this. Six food, five food. Some science here as well. And so Brantford's gonna grow really fast. Might wanna buy some tiles here. I could buy this rice actually from Halifax. Let me do that. And then with Brantford here, I'm going to make sure to secure a little bit border over next to China. So those tiles are mine. We're going to need a settler up here to improve things, so I'm going to do that. They, they will get one settler for free, or builder rather. Builder for free, but I'm going to do that anyway. Um, yeah, what the hell. Let's start building the most thing we should. There's a lot of production that's going to be needed. But I'm going to send a settler down here to help with things. Or builder. Keep, I keep flipping those words around. Your oh, it's Christina, Queen of Sweden! Of nice to meet you! You're going to be pretty cultural, aren't you? Uh, oh, we didn't want to train the city things. You want some of my horses. You'll give me some diplo power and some gold. Sounds great to me. Oh, you're coming here with caravels. Still, I mean, if you came with a really big force, it'd be scary. I think I'm going to have to put the Colossus on hold um, and just start working on medieval walls. Uh, we have a few more. Okay, I might go Don't move this cross the as well. Until you've stood at his forge and worked with his hammer. Move you up. Oh, don't go to sea! Not what I meant at all. Gensel. Bombard. Uh, that lets us build dams. The Hajar Sophia would also be really good if we could be the ones who get it. Or a little late on it. Um, oh, my ancient walls are damaged, so I can't build the medieval walls. Alright, go back to working the Colossus for now, then. And you are going to go to Ancient Walls right away. And we're going to clear out some of this rainforest. Settle up over here. You're going to get your own Ancient Walls, especially since you're right on the coast. You still grow fairly quickly. 
I mean, if, yeah, if you're alone, you're not going to do anything. Whoa! A diplomat is a man Another who war declaration remember. has occurred. I can't see anything. Trade routes to an ally city. Yes, we're going to run... Okay, go, go, go. We're going to run this because I'm going to want to start sending my trade routes um, away. Uh, we're close to being done on this. We are building at least one builder, and we probably want a little bit more of that. i got to keep the science. That's going to be okay. Yes, we're going to run feudal contract instead of um, conscription here, So, because we're going to need to build some military. Guess we'll do our military training. You're going to convert in 45 turns. So we'll convert you a little faster. Um, we could start some grievances with her. We're, we're still allies. Tell you what, we're going to go ahead. It's God wills your people believe in our ways. Who am I to stop it? Mm -hmm. So we've generated our first set of grievances. You know, the equivalent of some warmonger or something like that previously. You're going to grow there. You're going to bombard these relatively crummy and old units. Not that my bombard here is the strongest. Um... I'm going to go into a monument now. And you're going to come ashore. Hold on. Do, you, do I actually need to worry about you? Can I just go and bombard you? You're okay. Okay, I'm going to come ashore here. But I'm going to go to Sherbrooke. Excellent. Oh, gentle eruption. Two tiles have been damaged. There's more fertilized tiles. <laughs> Him that uh, it's overcome. okay. It's just a gentle eruption, you guys. So we're gonna have to continuously be repairing tiles, shipyards, Venetian arsenal. We know we're big fans of that. I don't tend to build forts, so I'm actually just gonna right now hard research ballistics because we might need the more advanced units a little sooner. Okay, I'm gonna go here because we're gonna keep doing chopping for some speed. You have converted, which is great. And we're gonna do some more of it over here. <clears throat> they still have to denounce me to start a war, but, you know, they might have more reason to do it now. Although we're still allied. Okay, we're at war with, like, everyone now because of these chained alliance things. It's actually very scary. Uh, you'll still be Judaism, but we'll work on it. And Judaism is currently dropping here, which is good. And we have the second missionary. That's true, too. Catastrophic eruption. We lost some population. More tiles damaged. Oh, man. Those who in quarrels interpose. There's a veteran scene. Uh, I'm going to leave it now. For now, though. We're building mostly walls. Mercenary. We might want some cheaper upgrade or downgrades or whatever. Side grades. One of those. Um, I am going to start an encampment over here. Even though I don't have veterancy running right now. And let's try to... Oh, we can't quite win Fez back. We'll still put it Oh, it does cancel. That's true. It does cancel the citizenship. We don't take it over, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab Victor. And we're going to put Victor in Sherbrooke. For a little bit more muscle. Although I guess that doesn't trigger right away. That's fine. There we go. Politeness is the winner. And increasing over here. And you guys don't actually have either religion yet. It's building up. Well, they're both building up towards Judaism. Let's see what we can do. Chop. Excellent. So you have your monument now. Do we want to go up to medieval walls over here? Kind of, yeah, with all the wars going on. Plus, again, it'll be worth tourism later on, so that's okay. We've got a spy ready to go. Um, we can steal some tech boosts. It'd be nice to steal works of art, too. Um, no great works to to steal there, nor there. Oh, no, there, that's something else. I'll just send you to the Chinese capital. There's, looks like there's more stuff. Can we, we can gain tech boosts as well. Sure, we'll do that. It's going to be okay. Uh, clear, clear, clear. I've got money. What I'm going to do... Oh, I guess right. These borders aren't going to grow to here because it's out of range. I mean, they will eventually. I'm going to buy the salt. Just, oh, never mind. I can't. Now you come over here. We'll hook up the salt. We'll get salty. There's an enemy ship buzzing around. You don't have walls right now. Uh, we might have to do a chop to rush the walls, actually. 
You want a bunch of niter, you'll give me chocolate and some... You know what, that's fine. I think I will chop there, even though it's non-ideal. Going forward. Uh, how come I couldn't shoot you? Shoot. That was weird. I should have had line of sight there, shouldn't I? Strange. All right, we'll go and chop the, uh, the rainforest here. And convert you majority make peace and you'll give me stuff for peace as well lovely I like peace some slight relationship changes here and there but that's okay um, yeah, I'll probably skip Chichen Itza at least for now uh, we are gonna build an encampment over here part of the idea um, Oh, our trade route cap changed. Aw, that's too bad. Okay, I'm gonna clear this marsh. So you can't do anything right now. Not be a majority religion, but hopefully soon. We're gonna chop you. Put you in the city. Nice. And... Yeah, we'll send you up here. Um, actually, maybe I won't worry about clearing the forest. I'll just do the lumber mill. I was going to clear the forest to quickly build the ancient walls to protect myself against them, but that's not going to be an issue anymore. Still won't be the majority religion, but it's still getting a lot of pressure. Speaking of, though, we do have more religious stuff we can spend. Um, let's keep getting some apostles here. Mm -hmm. Or not apostles, missionaries. Still need more holy sites. Still need more of everything. Brantford has no walls whatsoever, which makes me feel a bit uneasy. We are running limes right now, so we'll do this. This trade route can't do anything right now at all. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to preemptively move this trade route to, say, Peterborough, because we'll probably want to run it out of there later on. Uh, we still want to set up the international trade routes. Um, you... Oh, there is... Another religion over here, too. I think I'll still send you down here, because we put in some work. Let's keep getting these flipped. And finish you off. Excellent. Okay. Well, we have to put another cut in here. I've gone way over. This settler, in theory, is going to come down here. Um, not sure about doing it unescorted. We do have enough to promote you, which we'll probably do. Um, even though we don't have a professional army, I'll promote this guy and then march him down here. Uh, there may not still be a in encampment over there, but we'll see. It's not the greatest city, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.